Welcome back to Brett's Hang, I'm Brett Barnett. This week, I'm showing you guys a new rack system that completely blows everything out of the water because you can use it for more than just drum set. You can use it for keyboards, you can use it for DJ, you can use it for, you fill in the blank. And guess what, it's height adjustable. <laughs> So today we're talking about the height adjustable universal straight rack. Yes, we finally have a height adjustable rack out. This is the GCS 200H and what's really cool about this is that it's universal, meaning that it will work with a variety of different instruments. Whether you're a drummer, whether you're a hand percussionist, whether you're a DJ, whether you're a keyboard player, this rack is perfect for all of those applications. So let me just tell you about the benefits of a height adjustable rack. This all started out with me with, with keyboards and DJs needing to be able to raise and lower their racks. They, they got tired of having to cut things. It scares people when you have to cut a bar because once you cut it, you can't get it any higher. You're stuck at that height. But this rack allows you to adjust the height whenever you want. So let me break it down to exactly the components that we have here. So up top, we have a 43 and a half inch straight crossbar with two slip-on memory locks and two right angle clamps. Now the legs have two components. The base tube, which is 20 inches long with a, an RMAA fixed right on the end. And then the second component is the height adjustment extension tube. Now this is an 18 inch long tube with two different diameters. This is the tube that allows you to get the height adjustability. The smaller diameter is inch and a quarter and there's 15 inches in length of that. Now the larger diameter is inch and a half and there's three inches of this. This allows you to be able to clamp a rack tube to it. So now you can adjust the rack vertically from 26 inches up to 41 inches in height. So one of the coolest features that I think of on this rack is the fact that the extension tubes are labeled with numbered notch markings. So you can look at your rack and visually see how high or how low you've placed it. You can see if you've raised it four inches or if you've raised it six inches just by looking at the number six shown on the extension tube. You can tell if you've lowered it. So it makes it easy if you're a keyboard player, you sit down, you know exactly what setting that you, that you like to play it at sitting down and you also know exactly what setting you like to play it at when you're standing up. Same thing with drum set, same thing with hand percussion and if someone's setting up your kit, then they know exactly how you like to have your kit set up just by the numbered notch markings. So now here's the GCS 200H used as a keyboard stand. I'm in the seated position playing very comfortably. It's at the lowest position which is 26 inches off the ground. Now I'm using the SE GEMC electronic mounting clamps to support the keyboard. I just attached them directly to the crossbar and now it becomes a keyboard stand. So, I'm in, the play, I'm in the seated position, but as a keyboard player, you know, at home, you're gonna practice sitting down. Well, when you're gigging out at the club, you're gonna wanna stand up. So here it is in the standing playing position. I've got it maxed out at 41 inches tall, and um, I'm 6'2", and this is probably a little bit taller than I would feel comfortable playing it at. I'd probably wanna lower it, but I just wanted you guys to see what the capabilities are. So here I have the GCS 200H set up in a drum set context and I have it set two notches just above bottom so it gives um, exactly the kind of tom angle that I would like to have with the distance between the hoops. Plus if I wanted to use a 24 inch kick drum I could just lift it up a little bit. If I wanted to use a 26 inch kick drum I could lift it up even more or if I wanted to use even a 30 inch kick drum I could raise it up as tall as I want. I just have to have a throne tall enough to sit it, that's all. Um, but what I did to kind of spice it up a little bit because the rack just comes as uh, a standalone naked rack, I added some uh, components to it so that I could, you know, make myself more comfortable back here. For the, for the, for the cymbals, I added RBAs to go right over the top, the top of the extension tubes so I could fit cymbals down directly inside uh, the extension tube and still telescope it up and down. Over on the, on the, the right side, I added a wing so that I could mount my ride cymbal, 24 inch curved wing. Now one of the coolest things that I did here, which was my snare. I took a GSMP, which is a, is a short mounting post. It's about 15 inches long. It's the same mounting post that's on the, the vertical mounting system, our stealth rack. And I attached it to the front leg. So now I've got my snare stand completely legless. There's nothing on it. There's not, it's not even a pole going directly beneath the snare. 
because the snare is mounted to the front leg of the rack. And I'm using the SCGCS AR, which is an adjustable right angle clamp, to position and um, place the snare exactly where I need to make me feel comfortable when I'm playing. So now I've got height adjustability, I've got freedom around the ground, there's nothing on the floor, and I'm extremely comfortable. Well that's it for this week's episode, thanks for watching. Look, I just showed you guys a universal height adjustable rack that is going to change the world, solving health problems, solving world hunger. I'm just kidding, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. But it is gonna solve your world with problems of being able to raise and lower your setups for whatever situation you're in. It's universal, look, I showed you guys two applications, keyboards and drum set. Don't forget about DJs, don't forget about hand percussion, don't forget about didgeridoos. I mean, I don't know why you would put a didgeridoo up here, but if you did, it would be height adjustable. But anyways, this is a great setup for the gigging drummer. This is a great setup for the, the gigging keyboard player, or if you just want to stay at home and play, this, this is a great setup for you. I'm, I'm, I'm taking this with me. See you next time.